Hello and welcome to Team Baystar's midterm presentation. Uh, this presentation was put together by Timothy Flick, myself, John Rolls, and Dre Walker. Uh, this presentation will go over our TV show idea, the characters involved, and the management concepts that we're tying in from our current class. Uh, everybody played an equal part. Uh, but I will be doing all the voiceover. Here is a logo for our group and also the, the logo for our hotel. Uh, we just try to keep a Florida theme throughout um, and you'll see why our hotel is located in Tampa Bay. Before we get into the details of the TV show and the characters, I just want to go over a quick summary so you have an idea of what we're talking about. Uh, we are producing a TV show for adults age 18 to 30. Um, additionally, we're trying to target people that may be in college or any type of higher learning or any type of business environment for that matter. Uh, we just want to target people that are going to relate to the concepts that we're using in our episodes and trying to convey. Um, we're also using management concepts that we believe are relevant for the hotel. Uh, our characters are given traits uh, that are more representative of today's work environment. Uh, that's going along with diversity and kind of uh, the leadership roles are a little bit different than they used to. Uh, we're just trying to show that we support that. 
And we also want our characters to relate to our intended audience. Again, age 18, 30, working in that business environment or in college. Our episodes can, uh, contain drama and a little bit of light humor. And our ca characters will be reacting to certain challenges throughout uh, the storyline, kind of the lead up to the climax, which is the spring break party in episode six. Um, each video will be produced independently. Uh, I think we'll probably break it up. I'll probably do three episodes and then Dre and Tim will uh, do two each. Uh, and that's just to kind of give it multiple point of views, uh, give the characters a little more roundness because each of us will uh, be a little bit different. And we plan on doing the format on storyboards, but we do have backup plans to use uh, sticks and paper cutouts if we need to. Okay, so here's the general story uh, and progression of our TV show idea. Uh, the base of our hotel is a hotel operating in Tampa, Florida, uh, pretty close to the water, uh, also near downtown. It recently had its general manager, Max, part of the company. Uh, we just kind of give off the uh, message that he was a very unethical manager and he was bad at what he did and he left the company on bad terms the company brings in this new guy alex and uh he's very systematic he's an old banker he knows what he's doing but unfortunately he's never been in the hotel business so he's he's got to rely on his people a lot and that's where our challenge comes in because the hotel is not in good shape Alex doesn't necessarily know what he's doing. Uh, so the episodes will contain Alex um, getting the extent of the damage that was done, coming up with objectives, and consulting the, the employees that do know what they're doing uh, to help him overcome uh, certain obstacles. And then at the end, uh, we want to have a review of all the things that they accomplished before this spring break party, which is a big event for hotels. Uh, but we just really wanted to add at the end an episode where we could conveniently recap all the management concepts that we're going to talk about here in a little bit. So the general plot is the first episode, Alex will be gathering information the second episode. He'll be setting out objectives the third episode. He'll talk to Marcus about turning around the uh, hospitality department, specifically the laundry and reduce costs there. That's one of Alex's goals. And then the next episode, he'll go down to the restaurant and initiate change there and uh, help Faye, another character, get over it. And uh, in, a, in another episode, we're going to have them um, make an effort to market through social media and also solve a problem with an employee. Kind of two birds, one stone scenario. And uh, then, of course, we're going to have the spring break party, which is going to be a ma major challenge for a team, especially a team with a new leader. Um, and I'm just kind of using things that I saw in the military that help because we always have a situation with a new leader. So that's where our, our kind of our personal experiences are coming into the story as well. And we'll talk about uh, the specifics of the episode later on.
there's a slide of the management concepts that we'll be using. Just a couple of highlights that will come up uh, repetitively. Um, rational decision-making process, re-engineering, strategic planning, and interdependence. Uh, there's going to be main themes, but the rest will come up and we'll highlight them. We just want to provide a visual aid for our target market. We're really trying to form our story around sort of a, a millennial professional class of uh, young people that enjoy sitcoms that deal with management concepts. Here's our first character, Max. We don't really see him a whole lot in the TV show, but he does play a large role because his actions are the things that put the hotel in the state that it's initially in. Um, overall, he's kind of like our co uh, bad concepts guy. Uh, the concepts included in his character and the, his actions in that first um, episode. His lack of rational decision making that he may have had in the past, the violation of the code of ethics, and lastly, he always neglected uh, the group thinking and uh, teamwork. We really want to stress that because it's going to be pivotal to the hotel's success. Alex is the next character in our TV show. He's our main character. He's our good concepts guy. He's uh, kind of the things that we build the story around. Um, he's a former banker. Um, we just chose that for him because we always think of bankers that work, they work too much. They're always turned on. They're always in the game. They're always hard, working hard. Um, and they always seem to be a step ahead of everybody else. Um, but this is in a good way. Uh, the bad thing is, is he doesn't know anything about hotels. Um, but because he is intelligent and he has experience in, uh, in managing people, he's going to be able to rely on his training and his education and get through it. Some of the concepts that we'll see him using throughout the episodes and that he uh, displays and live, lives 
is uh, rational decision making. He uses SWOT in one of the episodes or the SWOT analysis, which I love very much. By the way. Uh, strategic planning, uh, selecting employees. Um, that's really like selecting the right employee to do the right task. And uh, he is seeking to find a competitive advantage in one of the episodes. Uh, and we also want to highlight eh, something that's kind of bad, uh, an emotional decision, just kind of out of fear. He was running out of time. Uh, we just want to show that even the best are fallible. Maya is an interesting character in our TV show. Uh, we wanted to include her um, because she's the youngest and uh, she comes from a background to where she has to pay for her school through debt and she has a little temporary job and that's the job at the hotel. Um, she sees the change out management as a bad thing because she likes the way it is. She likes getting away with what she gets away with and honestly, who would blame her? Um, and then the new guy comes in, Alex, and things kind of change because he convinces her to channel her skills and keeping up on her friends into maybe a job where she can get paid to do that. And she kind of becomes not only the front desk girl, but also the social media marketer. Um, she gets put in charge of basically putting the brand out to the public. And that's a huge responsibility and she responds well to it. The concept she displays and throughout the episode that we see her displaying is uh, interdependence because she's going to help Faye in the kitchen. Um, job design because uh, she's just kind of changing her, her job duties, her, her daily routine. Re-engineering is a dramatic shift uh, and this is you know, a dramatic improvement um, for the hotel. Maya kind of puts the hotel back on the map, especially when the restaurant makes a change. And uh, we haven't seen this before, but we included it here. Differentiation of task. And uh, this is a, also a big thing throughout the TV show. Taking tasks and bringing them down in the small. Faye is going to be in charge of the restaurant. She has a history of uh, not seeing the bigger picture. Um, she just kind of cares what happens in the restaurant. She take it, takes care of her people. She loves what she does. She has noticed that the restaurant has kind of declined uh, and that's due to outside factors. And she knows that they need to make a change in order to get the public back in the restaurant. Uh, but that is after a little bit of conflict to change. We just wanted to show that that's natural in a business environment like this. And it's something that us as future managers are gonna see. You're gonna have to deal with conflict. And we, want, we wanted to add it here. And the concept that she displays and that we have throughout the episodes is uh, she's on the receiving end of being selected by Alex. Um, that's because, you know, she's the leader. She's uh, the president of the, the restaurant. Uh, she displays in her interdependence with Maya, uh, trusting her to promote the restaurant and re-engineering. So the restaurant in our episode is going to undergo a change from uh, a kind of like American food, bar food type restaurant that, you know, you get your mozzarella cheese sticks type restaurant to a full on seafood restaurant. And that's going to be a little tough, but it's going to be cool. Re-engineering.
Marcus has been working at the hotel for quite a while and he's worked his way up from the bottom. Uh, he cares deeply about the hotel. Um, he was initially a little put off by Alex because uh, who wouldn't be when you get a new boss that knows nothing. But he decided to step up and help out where he needed to and Alex rewards him for it. Um, he's a strong leader in the hotel throughout even though he's only in charge of the hospitality department and he'll have an episode where he really comes through and provides a lot of cost savings for the hotel. Some of the concepts is uh, he's selected by Alex to lead organiza organizational change and that's a concept from a previous class of ours. Um, he's an opportunity in the SWOT analysis that Alex lays out in one of the first episodes. That's just like a clear example that we use, nothing special. Um, he's clearly a part of the hotel strategic plan as far as future employment and the um, getting the hotel ready for the spring break party. And of course, re-engineering because he's going to dramatically reduce costs in his department and, like I said, save the hotel a lot of money. Okay, here we have the first episode of the TV show. Uh, this episode is going to mainly feature uh, Max and Alex, but Alex will be shown in the first part talking with everybody and kind of getting a lowdown how a new manager would of it on his, uh, you know, on his new job. Um, at the very end, he's going to talk to Max, and we're going to give off the impression that. Max was totally oblivious to the poor job that he had just executed. Uh, the management concepts that we'll see throughout the episode is uh, rational decision making. Specifically, he's gathering information, he's uh, determining objectives, kind of getting ready to look at his alternatives and decide a path, make a decision. Uh, it's a recurring theme throughout the future episodes. Um, we just want to highlight some some bad things on Max's part, unethical management practices, and uh, lack of organization and planning. Okay, episode two. Alex is reviewing his notes. Uh, he goes over what everybody told him in episode one, and he sets out a few objectives like reducing cost and uh, turning around the restaurant and getting a uh, a social footprint in the area um, and he's also reviewing his pitch to throw a big spring break event which will be a big event in our TV show's timeline and this is something that uh, we'll say that the owners weren't comfortable with in the past maybe due to the lack of skills of the previous manager uh, some of the management concepts in this episode will be strategic planning determining of objectives, that, that's a part of the rational decision making. And uh, uh, SWOT analysis, of course.
Okay, this episode is interesting because uh, Alex goes down to the hospitality department and talks to Marcus. And uh, this is the first challenge that we see our cast really go through. And uh, Alex saw an opportunity to save about 1200 bucks in the in that bringing laundry in-house instead of uh, a company and paying a company to do it every week. They could just have some of the staff that's already employed there um, and add it to their daily routine to just throw the hotel laundry into the machine and we'll save uh, 1200 bucks a month that way. And so he puts Marcus in charge of finding that right equipment that can get the job done and with minimal human effort. And he does and comes through and the hotel starts to save a lot of money every week. Management concepts for showing interdependence between the upper echelon of management and the middle management, all the way down to getting an input from the workers, a uh, democratized leadership role, and selection of the proper employees, and re-engineering, and that the, there's a dramatic change in the schedule for all the workers in that department. In episode four, we're having Alex go down to talk to Faye in the, the restaurant and go over some changes that he has. He wants to simplify and source locally. He wants to improve the quality of the food. And he ultimately wants to uh, make it a seafood-centric restaurant. Um, at first, we'll have Faye kind of disagreeing and being skeptical, but then get on board once Alex kind of paints the picture of how much money they're losing, the, the bleak outlook for the hotel if things continue the way they can, they have been. Um, and the concepts we show is uh, strategic planning, re-engineering, and uh, uh, differentiation. Episode 5 sees Alex go down to the lobby and he pulls uh, Maya aside and begins to talk to her. Uh, he has the opportunity of really punishing her for, you know, being on her phone, always on the front desk. But instead, he just chooses to talk to her about certain rules and make sure that she understands that that's not allowed. But then kind of... Um, steers a conversation in a direction where he wants Maya to, instead of check up on her social media, create a social media and market for the hotel as a paid job and to incorporate that. And they kind of negotiate on kind of new terms of what she's going to be doing. And he agrees to pay her a little more and she buys into it. And gives her her first objective of going to talk to Faye in the restaurant and promoting the new menu that they came up with in the last episode. Major concepts will be interdependence, both with the management and the department, but then at the end with department to department, strategic planning, rational decision making, and uh, job design, and uh, engineering as well. Here's our climax episode where uh, we have the spring break party take place as well as the review of Alex's performance as manager. So <clears throat> in the couple days leading up to the spring break party, um, they still don't have a DJ and really a, a music plan for the three day event where they lower prices and they have uh, certain incentives. They've got about a 98% occupancy for those three days. And so he's really sweating it. So he decides um, quickly without consulting anybody, without consulting the team. He's very stressed. He just quickly decides to hire a bunch of local EDM DJs. And during the party, uh, they bring in so many um, local people that the hotel is very stressed, very over capacity um, for what they're used to. And it kind of shows Alex 
reacting in a good way to kind of bring the stress level down just a little bit. And you'd be surprised how much that helps in a stressful situation. And that's kind of experience that I brought um, from my work experiences in the Navy. Um, at the very end of the episode, he goes into his review the day after. Episode 7 is kind of where we wrap up everything. Um, Alex comes out of the review uh, a couple of days later. He gets everybody together in the conference room and just wants to go over uh, kind of the state of the hotel, the good things they've done, and just let everybody know uh, the work that still needs to be done to get the hotel where it needs to be. Basically showing that the game of management is always a struggle. It never stops. Um, because that's true. It never does stop. There's always something to do. Um, and just kind of like a, you know, you always want to have a happy-go-lucky ending. So we're going to get Marcus promoted. And Maya is going to be enrolled in um, a tuition program. Uh, management concepts in this episode, we plan to fit in all concepts uh, somehow, some way, um, to recap our chosen management concepts. Here's an example storyboard that uh, Timothy provided for us. Um, this is the format that we're going to use for our episodes. And like I mentioned before, if um, we're not getting the creative detail that we need, we might switch over to uh, and cutouts. All right, first I'd like to say I really enjoyed this project. It's uh, different, and that's okay. And I think uh, my partners agree. Even though there's only three of us, we have got a pretty good system down. I think we, tr we trust each other enough to get the job done. Uh, we each have an individual skills. We're going to break up the work. Um, we're largely already done with a lot of it. We just need to make the episodes. And the best part is we have a plan. Um, this is a great project. I think everybody's enjoying it. So that adds to the benefit. And I hope you believe that we'll get it done. Thank you.